Hi, and welcome to How in the Tech. I'm the Video Geek, and today I want to show you a trick the Espo Productions team and I figured out for creating graphics in Photoshop and then using them with the ATM Blackmagic Switcher. It seems straightforward until you need to design a graphic that contains an alpha channel. First, let me start by saying an alpha channel is just a tech term for transparency. We looked at what Blackmagic suggested. The Blackmagic doesn't recognize PSD files, the native Photoshop file. So, they recommend using a Targa file. This video will show you the steps you need to add a usable alpha channel to a Targa file. At the end, I'll share with you what we feel is a better alternative for this application. Let's get started learning how in the tech to add an alpha channel to a Targa file. Okay, here we have our logo and we want to make this a lower third bug. So I'm going to click File and then I'm going to click New and select the file size that you need your document to be. This one's an HD project so I already have the settings there. I will click OK. Now I'm going to take my logo and drag it into my freshly created document and I will hold the Shift button down as I do so and that will put it dead center of my new document. Now to scale down I'm going to press control on the keyboard and the minus key up by the backspace in the numeric area and scale down my view. Go to edit, transform, scale, hold shift down as you click the control points and that will constrain the proportions so that the document does not distort and then I will drag it into place. I will use control and the plus up by the backspace button to zoom the document back in. Continue scaling down. That looks like a good size. Press enter and that locks in my scale. I'm going to delete the background by dragging it to the trash can. Then go to the channels palette go down to the little notepad looking sticky note kind of thing icon down here click create new channel and then you want to go to your layers and control click on the layer that will select the object that you want to uh, have as your logo or lower third bug whatever it is and then make sure that you have all the channels turned on and inside of this the alpha channel is represented by black. You can see it over in the document it's red. So we need the Espo logo not to be red in the document and over here we need it to be white. So I'm going to go up to edit and then scroll down to fill and I'm going to fill with the background color which is currently set to white and say OK and you can see now that that is no longer red and over here in the thumbnail icon area it is filled with white. Go back to my layers and I can deselect this by going to select deselect and now I have my alpha channel with my logo and I'm going to go to file save as and then select a target file name the document as Espo logo Targa TGA for short and click save make sure it is set to 32 bits and click OK and you're done. As you can see this seems like a lot of work to add transparency to a file. We agree. A simple solution to the problem is to save the file as a PNG file instead. So far this solution has worked for every graphic we've used to date. A word of caution though, in the preview the graphic will look strange. Check before going live and I believe you will find everything is fine and ready to go. Till the next time, I'm the Video Geek. Thanks as always to Espo Productions for helping create this episode. Hey, remember to give us a thumbs up, share the video with friends, and leave us a comment about today's topic. Ask us a question or share with us your workarounds for adding an alpha channel to graphics for use with the Blackmagic Switcher. Thank you.